It's me, Jim, from Upper Survival, and Fiacci just sent me their new shoulder holster. And we're going to do a quick review on it, because I can only suck it in for so long. <laughs> Alright, let me take it off, we'll go to the workbench, and we'll do a quick review on it. Fiacci put some time in their shoulder holster. This is ambidextrous, so if you're left-handed, all right, you're going to want the pistol on your right side. If you're right-handed, you're going to want the pistol on your left side. So you can just with two clips, you can switch this right around on both sides. Everything's made out of ballistic nylon <clears throat> and Velcro. All the stitching is really decent on it. You don't have to take your belt off to put it on. All this Velcro just unzips, goes around your uh, belt, and back on it goes. One nice thing I do like is the thumb brake on it. <clears throat> now, you can have both snaps if you want it. I only like one. I'm a big fan of just one snap. Two snaps seems a little bit more difficult to get off, especially if you're rushed and you need it. But the beauty of it is, it comes right off. So, you can put both snaps together, and all you have to do, and it's got to be tight. The tighter it is, the quicker the snaps will come undone. All you got to do is pull it tight and get the Velcro right back on it. And like I said, the tighter you get it, the quicker the snaps will come off. Uh, let me move the camera back and we'll do a little more talking about it because a lot of this stuff says ballistic nylon. And I today I searched, I said, what the heck's ballistic nylon? What's the difference between nylon and regular ballistic nylon? So let me move the camera back and we'll talk about that real quick. When Fiacci sent me this shoulder holster to do a review, everything I was researching on it, it kept saying ballistic nylon. And I was like, what the heck's the difference between ballistic nylon and normal nylon? So I just searched it. It's actually quite interesting. Ballistic nylon refers to a specific type of nylon fabric designed for maximum durability and abrasive resistance. Created by DuPont during World War II. That's a long time ago, guys. Its original intended purpose was for protecting aircraft personnel from shrapnel, bullets, and other ballistic impacts. Hence the name. So, when you do see something with ballistic nylon versus normal nylon, well, you know it's going to be a lot more impact resistant. Uh, real quick, I don't know if I told you guys, but the barrel length on this one, it'll take up to a 3.5 to a 5 inch barrel. And I, like I said, that's, I got a 1911 in there, and even my barrel sticks out a little bit. But I like it, I really do. I have a leather shoulder, shoulder harness. And it's tough because it's got buckles on it. It's not as easy as this nylon. It doesn't have to give it a stretch. So I would, I'm, I am going to use this in the future, especially when I'm back off in the woods hunting and stuff like that. Uh, the magazine pouch, now this is a 1911. Like I said, it's a pretty good sized clip, but it's, it's, it's roomy. You can put a lot bigger magazine in there if you want to. And one thing I did notice when I, when I had it on, if I do a review, I guarantee you that no matter, no matter what pistol or rifle, it will be empty, okay? It will not be loaded during any of my reviews. The weight from the pistol on the one side versus the magazines on the other without the ammo in it, it didn't feel right. So I'm sure after you put the ammo in it, it'll self, you know, it'll level up. Because it seems like all the weight was on the left side. But I tell you what, for 20 bucks, I don't think it can go wrong. It's a great intro uh, to shoulder harnesses. If a person's never had one, it's a great buy to get one. 20 bucks, like I said, you can't go wrong. All right, guys, I hope this helps you, and thanks for watching. I sure do appreciate it. Fiacci, I'm so sorry for getting these reviews out late. You wouldn't believe all the reviews I got to do, guys, but it has been just pure heck on me. We've been just working a pile of hours, the COVID, I've had deaths in the family, my mother-in-law right now, pray for her guys, I ask you all to pray for her because she's on her deathbed right now. But anyway, it's been, 2020 has been one heck of a year and I hope all you guys out there during the pandemic, I pray for all of you, hope you guys get through this safe. Alright, thanks for watching and thanks again Fiacci.